So today um, I return to a compiler who we did a lovely puzzle from recently. Um, and during that, I said that Linus was um, Norwegian. So I sincerely apologize to Linus Hjelsted, a Dane, and uh, very happy to make that correction, especially as I'm half Danish myself. And uh, he's given us a puzzle with a fascinating theme. Now he's noticed that um, when I've done a couple of puzzles involving um, thermo Sudoku and Sandwich Sudoku recently, because of the thermos and sandwiches that form a traditional part of a picnic, I've been calling them Picnic Sudoku. And they, they're a pair that combine very well together into a hybrid. And taking up the theme of picnics, uh, Linus has compiled a puzzle in the shape of a donut, if you can see that in the grid. And uh, it is another picnic Sudoku. So what we have is some clues outside the grid, which um, are sandwich clues. They show the total of the digits between one and nine. However, there is a twist in this one because it's themed on a donut and a donut is a toroid. Um, these sandwich clues operate in a toric or toroid fashion in that the way they work is that the sum outside the grid gives the digits between one and nine starting from the one and continuing through the edge of the grid and back to be to reach the nine. So if the one was here, you might have eight and six here, that adds up to 14 and the nine is there. So the sandwich is between the one and the nine moving forward from the one and coming back around the grid as though it was a torus. So that's how the sandwich clues in this puzzle work. The thermo clues are happily the same as normal. The numbers must be strictly increasing from the beginning of the thermometer, which is the bulb, to the end of the line. Um, as well as that, normal Sudoku rules apply, but it's a slightly more complicated version of the sandwich clues than we're used to seeing. But this is Donut Sudoku, and let's have a go at Linus's puzzle. So, a great place to start with a thermo Sudoku is a long line, and this one is oops is really long anyway sorry that that line is basically nine digits long and that means we've got some givens at last which is a relief because with no givens in the grid um, we were struggling a bit to know where to get going but that has to be the increasing order of one to nine along that ther therm thermometer if you like um, so that's a good start uh, it may also be worth, even though this mm, this line's only four digits long, but it can't end in a nine because of that nine. So I'm going to enter in possible numbers that could be used. One, two, four, five. This can be two, three, five, six. Why am I missing out three there and four there? Because they're already in the same column. Three, four, six, seven, but this could be four, five, six. Oh, this can't be an eight actually, sorry, because of the eight in the box. So we can get rid of seven there, six there, five there. So they are actually a bit more restricted than one might expect. And from here to this end of um, this thermo is five digits. Um, and again, it can't end in a nine because it's in the same row as that. So let's put one, two, three, two, four, five. Yeah, that's as high as it can go. Three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Those are all the possibles there. Now, can we work on the th the sandwich clues in some way, as we have so little else to go on. Um, well, we've got a one in the grid and under a sandwich clue. So this one, we have to count down and we have to add up to 26 as we go down here. So it's got to be at least five uh, digits long, clearly. And there isn't a nine here. So 
Oh no, they're, sorry, it has to be at least four digits long. And, that, and that's quite important. So let's try that again. It has to be. I need to uh, let go sometimes. Right, it has to be at least four digits long. Can there be a nine here? No, that's too long. Nine here, no, there's a nine in the row. Nine here, no, because that's four, five, six, or seven. So the nine has to be here. And what that means is these numbers have to be five, six, seven, and eight, because that's the only way you're gonna add up to 26 in four digits. This one and down here can't be five or six because of the row. And that means these central three are four, three, and two. And that is really helpful. Those two can be two and three. This one has to be four. And that's really restricted the beginning of the thermometer there. And now we've got another one appearing under a clue. Excellent. So this time, clearly those are all in the thermo sum. Does the nine appear here? Yes, this could be three and five. Does the, could the nine appear here? It's possible this would be an eight then. So this is either a three, five pair at the top with a nine at the bottom of the grid, or it's nine there and eight there. And we don't know quite which yet. What an intriguing puzzle this is. Uh, what else can we tell? We haven't got very many more clues. Now there's a seven here. If that was two digits apart, it would have to be using this seven. So there'd be a one there and a nine there. But if they were, sorry, if the if the one and the nine were separated by two digits, that, that would be possible elsewhere. Um, we know that this is four, six or seven. This could be five, seven, can't be an eight actually, because, oh, in fact, this can't be higher than seven. That could, and it can't be seven. It can't be nine or eight from the same box, and it can't be seven from the same column. This is six, that's five, this has to be four. Okay, that's reasonably useful. This can no longer be six or five. Um, I've taken out the wrong numbers there, sorry. So it's four or seven. One, two, three, four is possible. No, it's not possible. This can't be one. This can't be four. The reason is this would have to be one. This would have to be two. This would have to be three. And clearly this cell would be impossible with both two and three in, in the row. So this is seven. Um, and by the same workings, this can't be four because this would have to... Oh yeah, no, that could be. This can't be three though, because that would put a two here and make the three two cell impossible. Okay, and this can't be four anymore because we've got a four up there. Excellent, that's a six. <sighs> can't do more than that at the moment. Take out seven from there. Um, actually, this is a lot more restricted than I expected. We've got two, three, and four in the box six and eight in the row this is either five seven or nine now where else could we go um how about this thermometer here no not really there's a lot of possibilities there although we've got nine and seven in the row so we know that nine and seven must appear in the top row up there in fact, we know therefore that nine and seven must appear in the bottom row down here. So this one can't be a five anymore. And in fact, that's a nine, seven pair. Four, no, I don't know about that. This is either five, six or eight here, just as this cell is. Hmm, let's see what the possibilities are here. This can only be one, two, or three. I don't think it can be higher because it would have to go, yeah, no, we've four, five, six, and seven are all impossible. Okay, so this is two, three, can it be five? Yes, I'm sure it could. 
Although, no, if it was five, that would put six and eight in those, and we couldn't have anything higher than a five, because seven and a nine are already taken, so it can't be five. Oh, my goodness, that's very restricting. This cell, surely, could be a lot of things. Four, five, six, and eight, I would think, at the moment. Not six, actually, that's in the box already. Ah, and we've now got a two, three pair in the row. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, it's so neatly done. So that's a one. Pity we don't have a um, toroidal sandwich clue there. Now, what else can we do? We've got a two, three pair. This is four, five, six or eight. In fact, it has to be four or five because six and eight are already in the box. I feel it's got to be right to keep working on these, although maybe this is now getting resolved. Um, oh, of course, this can't be a nine. We know that because it can't be directly below the one in a clue with a 27 sandwich clue, but One of these must be a four. I don't know if that's necessarily going to help me at this point. Ah, oh, one. We've got one there and a one there. We can put a one in here, um, given this one here. So put a one in there. Doesn't really help again, but something done. Hmm. There's a lot of uh, white space at the top. You kind of wonder how we're ever going to resolve these two rows. Actually, probably know that that's going to be done using those, but I can't see definitely how yet. So what can this be? One, six, four, all gone. No, that's not a useful line of inquiry. Um, ah, this is interesting. Where can we go next? I don't know. Oh, look, this can't be one. And I should have known that for a while. And that means this can't be two. Oh, look, it can't be two either. Oh, sorry. Okay, I've been a bit blind to that. We've got one and a two in the column. So that's four. That's five. And that really does restrict the possibilities a bit, doesn't it? Let's get rid of that four. Four, five, six, eight, seven, nine. So these are from one, two, and three. Four must be here for the fours that we already have in rows four and six there. Um, sorry, go back to the normal notation. One of these is a six. Five now has to be here. Oh, this can't be a five anymore because of the five there, right. So that's an eight. So we can get rid of the eight possibilities out of there. That's a five, six pair, a seven, nine pair, and a two, three pair. So we've got a one, eight pair above. But I don't know whether this is two or three now. The one is definitely down here. Hmm. Now, as we've noted before, this could be 179. But now, that's pretty. Oh no, it can't be 43. In fact, look, yeah, that is lovely. Five there and five there and five there, put a five here. Oh, it could be one, five, nine. No, one, five, two, nine, to give the seven adding up below the one. Or it could be one here, seven here, nine here. 
So I don't know which way around that works. We've still got the two possibilities in this column as well. Ah, now look, I haven't used the 14 and the 17 clue. I mean, they've been begging for me to use them. The 17 clue has to use the 654, so that must be a two to go with it. Oh, I mean, sorry. Just been blind to that as I've been focusing on the clues I have been looking at. Right, so that allows a lot to be filled in now. The 14 here, clearly five, six, and three are the ones that add up to 14. So the nine's there, the one's at the end there. Remember it's toroidal, so one there and nine there, we add the five, six, three between them. And now we've got quite a lot of disambiguation of the numbers we were left with. So two and seven there. Okay, so now can we use, well, one there puts a nine here. Okay, so we can get rid of those two and nine possibilities. We've got eight there. It's the last number possible in that cell, two and three there. Now down here, we know now that we can't have a three, five pair up here. So instead it must be the version that has nine and eight. And as I said, I thought we were gonna need that to determine how the top two rows work. Otherwise they're entirely interchangeable. Um, six there, seven there, nine. We've got a two, eight pair in there. This is a three, seven pair, five, six pair. So we've used all the across clues. We've used all the um, thermo clues. We've used all the down clues. Okay, so the rest has to be straightforward Sudoku somehow, which is rather surprising. Um, this can't be five or seven. This can't be eight. Nine must go here in this box. Ah, oh, look, that one has to be here because of this one and this one. So this is a seven, eight pair. We can do that because of the seven above. That's six. This one's five and that's eight. Oh, that works beautifully. Well done, Linus. This is a real, real masterpiece in some ways. What a puzzle. Six, four, one, and I think we are finally finishing now. Seven, one there. Two, four there. What a lovely puzzle. I mean, slightly complicated with the toroidal um, sandwich. I think we've done a puzzle like that before, but it's not kind of an instinctive way of thinking about numbers, the, the wrapping around the grid for a lot of people. So I hope that uh, you've had a go at this and understood the rules well enough to enjoy it because it really is enjoyable. Look at that. What a beautiful finish. Um, and a three there. Uh, that won't check the thermos and the sandwiches, but it will check that the regular Sudoku bit has worked. What a lovely puzzle. Thanks very much, Linus. Um, Mangata for that. That's a really good puzzle. And uh, please do subscribe if you like the content. Follow us on Patreon um, if you can afford to. There's a bit of extra content for those who do. And um, do buy our Sandwich Sudoku app if you like sandwiches. Thanks very much for watching and hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.